Hey guys, welcome back to another Android and tips and tricks. In this video, we are going to see how you can uh, control the behavior of the app notification that you're getting on your phone, even starting from the lock screen till the, if you're in the phone home screen, anywhere else you're working on, uh, you might get a lot of notifications, pop up speakings and all the stuff here. So guys, uh, starting with the Android Lollipop, Google has introduced uh, a new way of, uh, you know, in which you can control the notifications by blocking or treating them as a priority and, and all. Before do that, you need to depend on the phone or you need know, app publisher itself like what kind of feature they have given so uh, when it moves to android marshmallow the current uh, uh, os right now is here so let me show you guys here how does it treats here so for example i just have a notification here so you can see here guys in the android marshmallow if you just click any notification and just click on the app info you'll get kind of information like if you want to block all if you want to treat as a priority if you want to allow peaking so peaking in terms of me let this app emphasize certain notifications by sliding them briefly into view of the current screen so these are the couple of ways here but in case you are running a nexus devices you can simply slide it down you can control notification from there since this is om manufactured OS, so they kind of modified that so in this video we are going to show you guys how you can control the notification there the first time i'm going to send you guys a message from uh, android marshmallow to android and i just typed a message here so hopefully you should get here so we got a message here so uh, as usual so this is nexus 6p that the led light is blinking so make sure to watch that video in case you want to enable led light notification so if i just come here we can see this is my notification panel and i got a couple of the ways here whatsapp and hike so even though uh, i got the hike message just now but hike message notification is below that because already by default the whatsapp was set to highest priority that's why it went to high there i will show you guys how you can do that but uh, in the android end if you just simply click here for in just for a couple of seconds you'll see here you see new option here so by default all apps come with a star a that means app determines the importance of each notification so by default they take whatever settings app publisher has given for example by default all the app publishers give you notification sound peaking and if you just click here if the app publisher allows that so you can uh, simply click and reply from there all right guys so for example you can see the whatsapp has implemented the quick notification reply but the hike has not implemented that one that's why you're not able to see this uh, reply to Saurabh Gupta all right so let me just show you guys how you can control the notifications from here so there are two ways to go there either you can directly uh, just click here then you will see here uh, what kind of stuffs you want so you can see guys, I have already set it so by default it should be under a app determines importance for each notifications and uh, just click finish so this is one way you can directly control from here or another option is here just go to the settings under apps here go to the any individual app for example we are dealing with the whatsapp here so you can see here just a notification tab so you can also control from here so in that way you can uh, see a lot of notifications we will just show you guys how you can do that so just i'm just going to give you guys a demo here and uh, how you can uh, really control that stuff here so this is uh, my another nexus 6p running the android uh, marshmallow sorry the android n so already i've shown you guys a new video today in which i've shown you how to compare the comparison is speed test between the android n and then nexus 6p and, and nexus 6 running both android n if i just send a new message here so by default i have taken the word uh, uh, star a so i got notifications here so i can expand here and i can reply from here so let me just go there and if i come here so i'm just showing you guys what are the changes will happen so by default it is an a i will just start from the maximum here always speak and allow full screen interruptions show at the top of the notification list right so that's why uh, I just sent here. Uh, this is what uh, came from WhatsApp. And if I just send the same from the hike, so uh, I should be there. Uh, the WhatsApp should be on the top, right? So you can see. So this is hike message came here. And now if I just check the uh, notifications, so you can see. So WhatsApp is on the top. If you just slide and go back in you can see even though hike has came later but whatsapp is on the top of the priority because we have set it a show at the top of the notifications list you can that way uh, control that but if i set here uh, always speak no full screen interruption if i just send again from the whatsapp here and uh, let it come there now if i just send something from the hike here so let's see what came so you can see and let it go there and uh, So it still has at the top of priority but uh, it's not changing no problem but this shows no full screen interruption right now let's move to the next stuff here no full screen interruption or peaking so that way uh, we should not get any notification sound this time if i send from here so hopefully let's watch it carefully 
we got only sound but no notification at all this is wow this is one way if you don't want to get disturbed but if you want to get sound to be heard like for example as you can see here if i just type from here so sound came but no notifications display came all right guys and also guys one more step uh, this is also you can uh, add this google keyboard you can add your uh, images here and this theme customized here this is android and then you can do that otherwise no now moving to the next option here you can see uh, this difference that uh, no full screen interruption of peaking no full screen interruption peaking uh, even though now in this option we will not get any sound here right so before that we're getting sound if i just send here again we did not get any sound but let me show you guys i just send here crucifix so we should be able to see cru crucifix here right you can see uh, it should come here so it has came here like crucifix duck ggg yes right so this is what uh, i guess this is most recommended for in case you don't want any sound there or you don't want any disturb but you just want to sound if you have customized song for you know, each app notifications now let's move to the uh, second one no full screen interruption peaking sound vibration so at the bottom of the notification list so that means uh, it should be there in the bottom of the list uh, whatever you type there if i just send from here some marshmallow device and just type some random word here jigsaw puzzle so it came here right now if i type something with whatsapp so it should be going on the bottom of the list whatsapp now so there will be no sound no notification at all show and hide from the lock screen status bar you can see guys now it is not even coming to the lock screen status bar because we have selected that way but here you can see that now it is came to the bottom side also there is a new way you can control that but moving to the last never show any notification from this app if i just do this thing here so even you should not come here if you go to the and open the app and you can see there is no notification at all uh, the last one sent was this uh, jfj but there is no jfj but if we go to the app here and we will show you guys here so now it came here jfj right so that's how guys a couple of the ways you can fully control the android and uh, using the android and, and notification that so a lot of ways here guys so in case you have nexus device i'll suggest you guys update that debris 3 is kind of stable now there's very less crash even that was found in debris 1 and debris 2 so make sure watch all the uh, this 21 features and further a lot of features i have shown you guys and and also the comparison with the 6p and nexus 6 and yeah one more stuff guys if you want this wallpaper just go to my facebook page i used to post my uh, each app wallpaper on my page here so daily i used to change and i used to post that wallpaper link to that there and you can directly download from and save images from there so hopefully you guys this video might help with you if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more this is our scene guys and thank you very much for watching again we'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead